Getting comfortable with the Assignments tab in Canvas will help you to display course information to students in a way that's logical and accessible. It's easy to think that the tab does not refer to any discussions or quizzes, since these are tabs of their own, but Assignments actually houses all of these materials, dividing them into assignment groups that can be easily renamed and weighted. Selecting the assignment group weight makes it easier to manage the gradebook items while also making sure all the groups add up to 100%. The gradebook can be tricky and warrants its own instructional video, but I'll provide some information serving as baby steps towards understanding how this all works cohesively in Canvas. To start, let's make sure you understand how to create assignment groups. You can see here that I have four different assignment groups, papers, quizzes, group projects, and assignments. Let's say I wanted to add a group for exams. I'll click this button and I'll type in the group name. So since I already have the other assignment groups adding up to 100% of the total, I need to probably change the others to account for this one. So that's just one big tip uh, to make sure that everything adds up to 100%. So if you want to add an assignment, which are these um, you can see specified under the groups, you'll have to click the blue button here. And this directs you to a page where you can type in the title, the description, points, uh, the group you want to place it in, and how you want to display the grade. So I usually leave this as points, but you do have the option to choose percentage or complete incomplete, things like that. You can even select to not have it count towards their final grade, which means it won't show up in the gradebook at all. Then you have some options for submission types. So if you don't need the students to actually submit anything, um, you can choose no submission, and that means that it'll just use it as a placeholder so you can go into the gradebook and enter a score. The online submission is probably the one that you'll be using the most. And this is where you could have students type something in for a response, which is text entry, submit a URL, um, insert a media recording, or upload a file. And as you can see, it's possible to restrict your students to maybe just a file upload or just a text entry by checking and unchecking the boxes. There's also this new section for plagiarism review, and many of you know this as turn it in. So here you can select turn it in. So in the past, this was shown as an external tool, which was up here under submission type, but now it's actually, it has its own window. So here is where you would go in and enter the different settings for this tool. If you have file upload or text entry or both checked as a submission type, that's when you can pick the settings for Turnitin. You can also make this assignment a group assignment, um, and you can also require peer reviews. And I'll talk about these in a future video since they involve creating groups in the People tab and configuring future settings, things that are outside of this window. You can also add a moderator, make it moderated grading. So it's important to note that moderated grading um, cannot be enabled if it's a group assignment. So I'll have to uncheck that box. So if you select moderator, you can choose the number of graders. For this, it can only be one because I'm the only person, I'm the only instructor listed in this course. But if you have multiple instructors and TAs, you can actually select people. So like you'd have to click here to select a grader that can determine the final grade. You can also do anonymous grading. Uh, just some instructors like to do this uh, to eliminate any kind of bias. And finally, you can choose to assign this to the entire class, which is everyone, or you can type in specific names of students. So then, you know, you'll have to pick your due date and time, and it's up to you whether you want to specify a specific start and end date and time. It's perfectly fine just to pick one due date and time. The Add button you see here is where you would create specific rules for a student or students. So let's say this student uh, needs to submit the assignment early. You could select his name and pick a different due date and time. And this will apply only to that student. Okay, so let's quickly return to the main assignment page. I just wanna make sure that you've chosen to weight your groups. So if you click these three dots here to get to assignment settings, you'll see I have it checked. Make sure that's checked. 
and you have this selected weight final grade based on assignment groups. Um, so you see all my assignment groups here, and then I actually have the percentages adding up to 100%. And this makes things much easier, again, when it comes time to grade.